think when I see something that I really like, then I feel it in my body, actually. Then I feel that my uh, heart starts to <laughs> beat, kind of, and, and then I know this is, this is something. If I get a task or I'm interested in something uh, specific, then my brain starts to seek for that, and then my creation comes. And it actually smells different because yeah. it's, normally it's fish oil. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, yeah. And it's Now we're in Scotland, um, visiting Bridge Weir to look upon new qualities for the concept cars we're working on, but as well for future projects in Volvo. It is a really nice plant and uh, the people who's working there are so passionate about their material, so it's, it's really some kind of love in the walls, it's fantastic. That, goes, that was actually originally developed for the 177. It's another one for Lux for Aston Martin. Experimental for that's for Jaguar or Land Rover. Is this that's like... for Aston Martin. Yeah, that's chestnut, chestnut, tumble wheel, soft yeah. leather. So that's one of, one of your products. <laughs> my passion for leather started uh, probably around 25 years ago. And my father was involved in leather, my grandfather was involved in leather, and my great-grandfather was involved in leather. So I guess you could say that it's actually been inherited uh, in, into, into my blood somewhat. Uh, to be involved in the leather industry. You can make certain products with, yeah. it, with this type of material, but you can't make all the products. I think the real high line uh, Napa products, the yeah. tumble mill soft I, levers. I don't like this. No, I know, and it's no. heavily embossed. It doesn't yeah. look too, too no. special, right? It doesn't look like leather anymore. No. This is so, I mean, now it's still leather. So. <laughs> I think he really uh, passionate about his work. And I think that made me even more get a good in understanding for, for this leather quality feel. Okay, oh. it's a heavy substance lever, but, yeah, but it's, um, still, this is like you could make clothes out of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When I come here, it's always, it opens up possibilities when we really see the materials and we can talk to the people in the plant. And we're also um, looking upon different color matchings, uh, which is always much better to do together. Hi, Susan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, you too. Nice to see you. Yeah, great to see you here. Yeah. So for this, you know, the last one we had the grey leather all over. Oh, I'm seeing this yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So we're going to have a, an orange carpet to this. So that's it. And, uh, so more rust. Well, it's great to talk to another designer uh, because then she can add her uh, thoughts. And it's great to discuss it uh, and to feel that I'm on the right track. And uh, looking at her samples and her way of um, designing, uh, it's good for me because then I can change my mind and see something that I didn't uh, think of. Hi, hi, Cecilia. Oh, nice to see you. On the other car we had just grey and blue, mm -hmm. but now we will change so we have these orange themes and the orange belts. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed the color, the gray color so much that we did together with you, so we would like to try that now to, to make it into production. Mm -hmm. Leather is a beautiful material. It's both the look and the feel. It's so tactile and it's such a difference between different leathers uh, and it has such heritage and it ages uh, with a, a proudness, kind of. So it's, um, it gives a very warm and quality feel to the car. The new leather that we have here, which I think is also a fantastic, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah. color. Yeah. Perhaps the greatest challenge for any leather manufacturer is to, on the one hand, meet the needs of the designers in coming up with something that is aesthetically appealing, but at the same time meeting the needs of the engineers. That's fantastic, well out. done. I think that's great. <laughs> well done of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
to see things that I've seen on pictures, for example, and then to see it in real life, because that's really the thing with material, that it's something to see on a picture, but it's really something else to feel the smell and, and feel the quality. That's, that's the thing. I've never thought of doing anything else than being a designer. That's always been my biggest interest. 